my first book I'm going to review is this one if you can see it it's called Ghana Must Go um oh that's so much better um it came out earlier this year and as soon as I saw it I really at the blurb I looked at a few reviews they weren't that informative Although I knew it was some kind of family saga, my arm is really hurting. And I like family story saga type stories. So I started reading it. So the book basically is about a family. A family who the dad is from Ghana, the mum is Nigerian. There are four or five children. You can tell it's going to be a very interesting book review four or five children and the children it's basically about the kids and their relationship with their dad and the dad actually had an affair and left them at early age i've just given the book plot away he left them and the mum to fend for themselves they were living in america he was a doctor um in the family there's an older boy some twins and a younger girl and the twins are boy girl twins but the reason why I'm being hazy is, A, I read it over a very long period of time because it's not really, I didn't find it that engaging. It was very jumpy. The beginning starts at the end and the dad dies. Yeah, you find that at the beginning. The dad dies and then all this stuff happens and I wasn't really sure who was who. So that's why I'm a bit vague in the actual description. But it all comes true towards the last 20% of the book, which is a real waste. Because the beginning and the middle, you're like, well, why is this, what is going on? Who are all these people? Why don't I know anything? And then there's this big family secret. And then the whole book is talking about this family secret. And you're like, I wonder what happened. Basically, the twins got sent to Nigeria because the mum couldn't afford to have them in America. And she wanted them to have a better education. So she sent them to live with her brother. And they went over there. And then clearly something happened in the year they were there. But they would never tell their parents, they didn't tell anyone and obviously you find out at the end what happened and it's really horrible. And the last 20% of the book are the most redeeming features like, what's her name, Tai Selassie, she really obviously gets the plot at the end. But I don't know if it was worth reading right to the end of the book to get to the end, even though it was, but it was quite frustrating like... And it might have been even an unnecessary ending. Like, it didn't have to be about... Okay, it's about abuse. It didn't really have to be about that. It could have been about happy things. I've been reading a lot of abuse books lately. And then I had to stop because there was too much, like, issue. So, yeah, it's really weird. And I wish it was a lot easier to read. But it is a good story. It's got really good characterisation. Well, actually, it hasn't. Um, kind of good character like the characters are interesting and I really wish they were more interesting so then I would have read it in less than three months I had to start it and then I stopped it I even took it on holiday with me and I couldn't read it and that's the best time to read a book so I had to start it and then I stopped and then I had to start again and then I changed one job so I wasn't commuting so much so then I didn't read it on my commute but then I forced myself to read it and yeah like I said the ending is really good and it's kind of a toss up whether you think it's worth the middle and the beginning of confusion but anyway um it's set in about three countries oh it's upside down huh it's set in about three countries um it's generally interesting to read if you like that kind of thing about immigrants and their kind of uh, how they feel about being in you know western countries and western cultures a little bit it's got a bit of multiracial relationships one of the brothers is married to a chinese girl it's quite interesting about that and how um yeah then they go to ghana for the dad's funeral and it's a bit interesting as well like when the immigrants come back home when some of them haven't actually been to their native countries and how they cope with that and abuse and abandonment and absent fathers so there's a lot of themes in it maybe a bit too many but anyway if you really like stuff like this read it it is a good read but be prepared to be a little bit confused maybe it's just me i'm quite confused a lot of the time but anyway yeah read this book called ghana must go by tai selassie who is an up-and-coming daily writer so let's 
clap our hands for her because she's done really well getting a book like this published it's not easy um so she's done really well in the development of the book but for me personally i don't think it's that much of an easy read and i really love easy reads so my next book review will probably be um, americana by chimamanda ngozi Adi. yeah it's a really good book i loved every second of it and it's easier to read than this because i like her re writing style i'm used to it but that doesn't mean to say her book is better than this that's obviously opinion but anyway if you care about what i say please um stay tuned for my next blog vlog thingy bye